I'm here at the lake because I heard rumors of a sea monster living here. I do see something poking out of the water. Wait, what, what? I saw it, I'm getting out of here. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a couple products from Jada. I'm really excited to show you. Let's take a look. Jada was kind enough to send out a couple products for me to review for you guys. One of these I've reviewed before, but they work all together. So I wanted to show you as a bundle uh, how they interact and what they do. As always, they always package them up really nicely, uh, very well. Uh, done as far as the packaging goes. This is the Jada Hub, and I've been using this one in my personal car. I think it's great. Uh, this is the newer one uh, for a 2019 Tesla Model 3. As you see, it's got two of the USB-A uh, uh, connectors on it. If you have a newer Model 3 or Model Y, you're going to need one that has the USB-C and the USB-A on the other side. So make sure you select the right one when you're placing your order. Uh, as you see on the front, it does have three USB A's, which are really convenient and two USB C ports here. But if you press on the corner here, you'll see a hidden compartment. And inside here, there is another option where you can connect your SSD or you can connect uh, a jump drive of some sort to record your sentry mode dash cam footage. This is just a magnet that you can put to the back of an SSD if you want, and this is metal behind here, so it does stick to that, keeps it from flopping around. Speaking of SSD, they did send me their version of an SSD, and this is used specifically for the uh, sentry mode and dash cam footage. As you see, it is a 256 gig drive, and what's cool about this one is that it is magnetized. It's got like almost like a MagSafe type of connection like what Apple uses on their laptops. Um, you see how it connects like that? When you first get your drive, it'll come with a cable like this and you'll see it has a USB-A on one end and a USB-C on the other. This one is magnetized uh, to where it comes apart. Check this out. And what you'll do is you will insert the USB-C into your drive. Like that. And now you just let the magnet connect it. As you can see, the drive itself is built into the door of, of this uh, hub. It's the same size as the door that comes with your hub and it's gonna fit in just like that. So it still stays uh, concealed. But the problem with a lot of these drives is that you still have to connect the cable up in here and then get a drive out and it's it can be cumbersome because of just the size of, of these drives. Even with my endurance card, uh, you still have to get it in there and it's kind of a weird angle to, to reach. Like that. It's just, especially if this is installed in your car, trying to fiddle down in there, it's, it's really tight and it's, it's kind of hard to do. Um, I do like these a lot though, because you see how small it is. It takes up so little space. And I do have an SSD drive that I use for music. I'll show you that right here. I see you guys think I'm against SSDs. If you've seen my other videos, I'm not against SSDs. I just don't think they're the best option for the um, sentry mode and for dash cam footage. I prefer the endurance card much better for that. You can see the size difference just in the two of these. So if you were to use a regular SSD, you see that it fits in there, but now you got to fiddle with this wire to try to get it installed 
it's just a mess. I've got a magnet on the back of this one so it does stick. But what they've done with this one is they've put the MagSafe type of technology in there to where you can install this into your hub, but just leave this off and it'll automatically connect this way. So I'll show you how that works. Make sure this little magnet is facing out towards you because it is going to stick to the door that you put on there. And this is just your MagSafe here. You see there's a, a magnet right here to connect to the top of this. So you're going to just let the MagSafe attach here like that. And that's it. Now you're ready to go. You just install this into the car and you are all set. Okay, so now that you have your hub, what is this? This is a tray that they sent out and this goes also in the center console where your hub is gonna be, but it adds more features. So let's take a look and see what's inside. So this is the tray. You'll see that it also comes with a cable with also this MagSafe type of, I keep saying MagSafe, I'm sure that is trademark, but it's a magnetized USB-C uh, little uh, connector here. So you'll put your USB-C connector into the tray and now it just connects like that. Makes it easier for installation. This end will go into your hub and so it's going to sit in your car like this. Just connect the wire and it'll connect like this inside the car. So what does this offer? Well, this is what the back looks like. There is a removable tray. If you wanted to keep something underneath, like a hidden compartment, you can do that. This you can just put loose, change, whatever you want in there. This is also very rubberized, so it's gonna stay placed. Nothing's gonna be rolling around inside. This part is hard plastic, but this is soft rubber. So what these are pretty cool for is this will charge your uh, smartwatch. If you have an Apple watch, like I do, I'll just show you real quick. This lays on it like that, and if it's connected to power, it will charge your watch. I believe it does have a magnet in there to hold it in place. And this is also a Qi charger in here as well. And this is for your AirPods. If you have one of those um, wireless uh, charging cases for your AirPods, that's where this will go and it'll charge your AirPods. Cool, right? Okay, we're back in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and install these products. I did want to make mention that Jetta also sells a wireless phone charger. Uh, it comes in black. And from what I've heard, it's got the best reviews online as far as just fast charging and the way it looks, feels, everything. Uh, they were willing to send me one as well. I told them not to. And here's the reason why. It's really stupid, but you'll see. This is what I'm currently using as a wireless phone charger. Uh, I This is a cheap one off of Amazon. It does the job. I rarely use wireless charging anyways. I'm just one of those guys that, uh, you know, I'll throw it on there as I'm driving, but it doesn't charge all that fast. So it's kind of like a trickle charge. Uh, the Jetta one is, is really good. As far as these go, Jetta probably makes the best one on the market. Uh, that's just my opinion. However... The reason I'm sticking with this one is because it's white. It looks really good because I've got the white center console. This is a, a vinyl wrap, by the way, that I put on. And um, yeah, I just like the way this looks. And um, if Jetta were to make one in white, I would grab it in a heartbeat. No questions asked. It's just, I like the white one for just the aesthetics only. But as you see, it's plugged into the wall of your car here. There's two USB-A ports. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug those. So that's what comes with your car right there. And the Teslas are really like computers on wheels. 
And as you know, with computers, you want as many ports as you can to connect all your accessories. So I do have MP3 music that I put on a drive. I've got my dash cam and sentry mode uh, footage on a drive. I've got a game controller to play video games that I plug into these. So that is why you need a hub. If you've got a newer Tesla, you're going to have an additional USB um, outlet inside your uh, glove box. And that's where you'll put your dash cam uh, drive in there. But these older ones only have these two ports right there. And that's it. So that is why you need a hub. So the thing you want to do first is get your cables out of the way. This is going to slide down in here. And you see how it's kind of wedge shaped. Uh, it is a very tight fit, and that is on purpose. You don't want this thing rattling around in there or coming unloose with the connectors on the back. So it it's going to wedge in there. you got to put a little bit of force and pressure to get it in, but it does go in. And you just try to line up those USB ports to the holes in there. And I usually just do it by feel. I'm not actually sticking my head under there looking. Okay, it's wedged in there. Let me just find these port holes. All right. Now the hub is installed. You see it's flush with the back of the carpet there. Now you can connect your uh, if you have USB-A, they go into the USB-A. If you have USB-C, they go there. Or if you don't need any of these USB-C ports there, I've got an adapter that turns it into a USB-A port. And that way you can get more coverage from your older devices that only have USB-A connections. This is just, um, it's just like an adapter. You can just plug this into one of the USB-C ports. And now that turns it into a USB-A. So this leaves a few more ports open. Remember underneath, I've still got a USB-A under here for the uh, SSD drive. I've got a USB-C here and I've got two USB-A's here I could use for uh, MP3 player, I could use for a game controller or both. So let me go ahead and start connecting things up here to show you what that's, what that's going to look like. Okay, so first I'm going to take the magnet side facing towards you and get this installed underneath into the port of the hub, like that. Now I've got my new door that's got the built-in SSD on it and got my magnet um, USB-C currently plugged in there. And now this just magnetically attaches like that and I can close the door. And now it's hidden away to where if someone was to break into your car uh, and they knew that you're recording uh, because they've seen some videos online of that Tesla's record video, they may not know to look behind this trap door to find an SSD. All right, before I start loading up with accessories on this, let me go ahead and install this tray and show you how that works. So it's gonna be, this is gonna to be towards the front of the car because that's where it's connecting to your hub. So let's start working this, this thing in. Okay, so this just sits at the base of your um, your hub right there, and it's wide enough to where it just fits so far. But as you can see, there is still storage underneath here. I can get my whole hand in there. There's quite a bit of storage. So this is like another hidden storage compartment, which as you guys seen, I love hidden storage compartments in my car got one in my um, armrest. Uh, I, I love it. So this is what it looks like installed. Um, it does have your other cable here. So you'll connect this to the USB-C 
right there. And then this one's the magnetized one that I've already installed. It's USB-C right there. So that's how that connects. So this is what it looks like installed. Uh, if you want to add music, like I've got a little jump drive here. This is my little Samsung 256 gig drive that I've got loaded with MP3s. You can connect that uh, to one of the, the USB-A ports that's available. You see how small that is? It just gets out of the way. If you don't want to use one of these and you just want to use a, a SSD drive to hold even more, I've got one of those. This is a Samsung T7. Uh, this one is a 500 gig, so it's twice as much as this one. But I'm a total music nerd, so I've got a lot of music files that I listen to. The only thing I don't like about this one is the cable is a little too short for this. If not, it would lay flat. You see it is the correct width here. So it should just lay flat like that with the proper cable. So that's just something to think about as well. Um, if you have a game controller, which I do have right here, this is my game controller because Tesla. Um, you can do wired or wirelessly with these. Uh, if you do wireless, you'll need a dongle that uh, also connects to your USB-A port, which I do have one of those, but I usually just use this one wired. So I'll connect a wire to this, and now I can use uh, a game controller and just leave this sitting in like that. If you have Apple AirPods with the wireless charging case, uh, that is where you would be able to charge those in this little compartment right here. Now, if you have an Apple Watch like I do, you can set it on the charger and you'll see it starts charging right away. So the reason I need an Apple Watch charger in my car is because every time my iPhone updates to a new version and they also kick out another version of the Apple Watch software, you got to pair them together and they, you know, they update together. Well, it won't let you do that unless the Apple Watch is on a charger and you have at least 50% battery. So there have been many times where I've been away from home and I got an alert that I've got a new software update available. Maybe I'm at the office at work and um, I want to go ahead and update, but I can do my phone, but I can't do my Apple Watch until I put it on a charger. I don't have an Apple Watch charger at my office, uh, but if I had it in my car, I could go out on my lunch break at work or whatever and just put it on there, update the software while it's charging, and that's why I would need it on the go. Once you have your SSD drive installed, you can go into your safety and security features here and do a format USB drive. That will format the drive to be used for your Tesla Sentry Mode and Dash Cam. So let me go ahead and tap that. Format, and it will format it. And we are done. So this is it. This is the Jada system. The only thing that's incomplete about mine is I don't have the wireless phone charger up here. Uh, they do make one. It's great. It's black. And that's the only reason I don't have that one. Uh, I just like the way the white looks, so this is a cheap one off Amazon. But if you had that, you would have the full set. You've got the hub, the SSD in the hub, the tray that's got the wireless Apple Watch charger and your AirPods charger. You've got a tray here that is removable where you can uh, have extra hidden storage underneath. So the tray is killer, guys. Um, it also works with other, any other hub you may have from some other brand, um, as long as it's got a USB-C port on it. Uh, I don't see it not having any issues with that. So, um, yeah, I think it's a great deal. So that's it for today, guys. That is the Jada system. That is the hub, the SSD, the tray with all the wireless features. I think it's awesome. It's all solidly built, very high quality. I'll put a link in the description below for a link to all the Jada products. You can use my coupon code to save some money. Everything is working great, so I highly recommend this one. So what are your thoughts on Jada? Have you had any experience with them, good or bad? Put that in the comments below. I always like reading that. I'll answer any questions that you may have, so go ahead and ask away. 
and I will see you guys real soon. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff that I'm supposed to be saying, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.